See, if I get too thin, it needs to get there. Right? See, and this sound. Is that a chest or is that like a mix or a head or what is that? What note is that? It's a G5. A G5, it's going to be head. That's everything is headed. You can be loud. Yeah! Okay. To make it sound more convincing. And you can also talk like that too! But that sounds intimidating, but it's really not. It's just fucking false. You're vibrating your arytenoid cartilage. A bit of false fault. I can go. That would be a mixed voice with that vowel. Head voice. That's roughly a G2 in the second octave. That's just a combination of vocal fry and chest, okay? Then we have chest. Ah, and I can add a lot of density there too. Ah, I can add density there and I can reduce the volume while maintaining the density. Ah, and it sounds like that. If I reduce the density with the volume, Ah, it gets very speaking like ah for me. That's how I would speak, as you know. Fourth octave, mixed voice, but in this case, it's going to be mostly chesty because of the vowel that I'm doing, but I can vary the volume too. Look. That would be a mixed voice, okay, with that more belty vowel. Hey! Ah! Ah! That's not very loud. It sounds loud because of the way I'm shaping my mouth. You want to hear really loud, full density up there? It's going to be very intense. And this is something a lot of people can do, and they will not teach this either. Ah! That's full density. That's really that. I can go louder. But you know, I woke up like, you know, pretty much what, like an hour ago or so. So my voice, I don't want to push my voice like that. But if I go like that, I'll try it again. Ah! That would be full density. That almost sounds like opera. Right? That almost has a quality like opera. And see the mic, the video clipped because I was so loud. Did you see how the video clipped? Yeah, you you got loud. Yeah, you got loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because I was I was loud. That's that's how opera singers sing, but they covered the vowels. But if they don't cover the vowel, you know, a lot of people don't understand this. It goes back to the video that I made, you know, previously that I uploaded. I think you saw that already, right? I might actually made a video about this too. I'll obviously as a sense of your face and everything. But I might do that because this is full density, like an opera singer would hit that note, but without covering the vowel. So if I do a scale like a typical scale. Uh, like uh, like that. Ah, it will be something like that. Now, if I cover that well, ah, it gets into that. That it's more opera. But open. Ah, I can take that even higher too. But that gets very tricky. And a B flat. What's a B flat? Ah, it's very loud. But that's not even full density. I can even add more density there. Okay, just so you know. That's a pianissimo sound, a head voice, because I can sustain that sound for a lot longer because it's compressed, but it's very light. Most guys would go, ah, that's falsetto, right? Now, again, you know, different schools, different teachers will say falsetto, head voice, same thing. Some will say similar, some will say different, okay? But it's a different sound. I feel like to me, it's a different coordination. Okay, that's how I teach. That's how I teach my, in my method. So, ah, falsetto. Mix. Ah, right, that is chesty. Ah, mix boys. Ah, chest. Do you hear a difference in the sound? Now, chest with full density. Yeah, that is something a lot of guys out there can do. Okay, they can be loud, but not like this. Because when I get like that, it sounds like this. Do you hear the difference in the sound? It's very different. That's full density. Okay, and it's not easy. It, it, literally, I feel my butt engaged.
My butt muscle ain't like I'm taking a fucking shit. <laughs>